about to give us the truth, the whole truth, and nothing but the truth. Yes, sir. I think so. You put your hand down. Mr. Schlett, you handling this case for state? Yes, sir. Do you have any other witnesses besides the parties? No, Your Honor. All right, y'all. Mr. Schlett's going to call y'all as witnesses. I need you to answer his questions the best of your ability. Always remember that I will give you an opportunity at some point in time to answer any and all questions that you might have at the end of the hearing, okay, before I make a ruling. Um, don't interrupt each other. Let each of you answer your own questions. And just remember, I will give you an opportunity to talk to me um, after the testimony is taken. All right, Mr. Schlett, you can call your first witness. Oh, thank you, Your Honor. I'll call Ms. Gallivan. Ms. Gallivan, what's your full name? My full name is Jimena Galvan. What is the name of the child that we're here for today? Valentine Avery Hernandez. Okay. And who is the father of that child? Antonio Gilbert. All right. Um, Your Honor, I will um, offer into evidence the acknowledgement of paternity in this case of States Exhibit A. Ms. Galvan, I've just placed on the screen a copy of the alleged acknowledgement of paternity for Valentine. Is it okay if I look at this acknowledgement? Yes, sir. Thank you. Mr. Gilbert, the same question. May I look at this acknowledgement of paternity? Yes, sir. State Exhibit A is now admitted into evidence. Thank you, Your Honor. And um, Ms. Galvan, this this child's last name is is Hernandez. Um, that's not your name or or the father's name. Where did that name come from? Yes, um, the name is my mom's last name. Okay. Would you would you like the name to remain Hernandez? Excuse me. Would you like that her name to remain Hernandez? Yes. Okay. Okay. Now, who does uh, Valentine live with? She lives. She lives with me. All right. How long has she lived with you? Since she was born. You and Mr. Mr. Gilbert um, separate. Um, I think I, was, I think I was with him um, until I was six, seven months pregnant. Okay, so was there ever a time when uh, you and Mr. Gilbert and Valentine lived together? No, we never lived together. Who, who makes the day-to-day -day decisions for Valentine? Uh, I do. Okay. Um, does, does Mr. Gilbert help out with those decisions in any way? No, he does not. All right. How often does Mr. Gilbert visit with Valentine? He never, he never does. Uh, only like when she was two months, I think. Okay. So has it been quite a while since since Valentine has seen Mr. Gilbert? Yes, over a year. Okay. Now, have you have you offered Mr. Gilbert to, to come visit with, with Valentine? I used to, but I have no contact, uh, no way to contact him. Okay. Has Valentine ever spent the night with Mr. Gilbert? No, never. Um, what concerns would you have if Valentine were to uh, spend the night with Mr. Gilbert? Um, he uh, lives with his girlfriend, and his girlfriend has threatened to kill my daughter before. Okay. How, how did you... Okay. How, how did you... Okay. How how did you receive those threats? I received them through messages on my Facebook. Okay. Um and and how long ago was that? Uh over a year, January 26, 2023. Okay. And so since that time though, oh. Valentine has not gone to, to see Mr. Gilbert, is that right? Yes. Okay. Yes, she has not. Okay. Uh, so how is uh, Valentine covered on health insurance at this time? 
Uh, she receives Medicaid. All right. Okay. Um, that's all I have for this witness, Your Honor. I'll pass this witness. Any next witness? And I'll I'll call Mr. Gilbert. Mr. Gilbert, uh, what is your full name? Antonio James Gilbert. Okay. Now, uh, you heard you heard Miss Galvan um, testify that that it's it's been uh, over a year since the last time you've seen uh, Valentine. Is that true? Yes, sir. All right. And have you made have you made an effort just to, to see Valentine since then? No, I haven't had no way to contact her. All right. Okay. And you also heard um, Miss Galvin testify about um, a girlfriend of yours sending a, a threatening message to her in, in regards to the child. Um, do you recall that incident? Sir, I do. Okay. Um, is it true? Yes, sir, because she reached out to her first and, you know, they both was arguing and threatening her first. Okay. And and since that time, have been, are you telling the court that you haven't had really any contact with, with Ms. Galvin or with Valentine since then? No, sir. Okay. Because she blocked me. I can't hear you, Mr. Gilbert. I said no, sir, because she blocked me on everything. So uh, you, you also heard me ask uh, Ms. Galvin about, about the last name of the child that, that is Hernandez. Um, what do you think the last name of the child should be? I mean, I think it should be my last name. I didn't get really no say so in it or anything like that. Okay. Do you, why do you believe that's in the, the child's best interest? Just so it could have, like, you know, just something of my name and my name. And my connection with me. Okay. All right. So, when is the last time that you visited with Valentine? When she had surgery and he spit on her throat. I'm sorry. Okay. Could, I, I didn't get Could you repeat that, Mr. Gilbert? I didn't catch that. I said when she was having surgery on her throat in uh, Houston. When who was okay. having surgery on her throat? Um, of my, my daughter Valentine. Okay. When was that? That was in uh, around January. Okay. Of of twenty twenty three. No, of uh, twenty 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 two. Or no, no, it was twenty twenty three. Okay, gotcha. All right. But but before that though, so did you have visitation? Like maybe did Valentine come to your house? No. It was like okay. uh, they like what she was two months now is it. Okay. All right. Do you have any other children? Yes, I have one on the way. Did you, did you say you have one on the way? I have one on the way. Okay. All right. Um, what what do you do for work, Mr. Gilbert? Just uh, just construction, handyman work for my kids. All right. What? Just is it kind of just odd jobs, various various things that you can you can find to do? Yes, yeah, but I'm I'm not employed in either way. Okay. Just a family friend. All right. Ooh. A family friend. And how often how often do you get work through through him? It, it, it's rare, just every once in a while. What type of wages do you make when you do that work? When when I go with them, it just depends if it's a half a day or a full day. If it's a full day, it's a hundred dollars. Half a day is like fifty to seventy five. Okay. Um. And how often would you say you you do that work? Like, like every other month. Every other month. Yes, sir. How come you're not working, Mr. Gilbert? Uh, I'm just having a hard time finding a job. Why? I don't know anybody in this area that's having a hard time finding a job. I just recently got out, out of jail. Okay. And how long were you in jail? Uh, I've been, I was there for about almost two months. For what charge? 
I had a motion to revoke my probation. What are you on probation for? For a uh, controlled substance. How long, have you been on, how long have you been on probation? I've been on probation for two years, but since it, but since it got re-invoked, I'm on probation for five years. Okay. Go ahead, Mr. Schlitt. I'm sorry. Oh, that's okay. Um, so, Mr. Mr. Gilbert, if, if you were to qualify for, for a program that might, uh, might help you get a job um, here in Jefferson County, would you be willing to participate? Yes, sir. Okay. Okay. Um, oh, did, do you have any other, other children, Mr. Gilbert? I may have already asked that. Yes, uh, you, you do. I have one more on the way. One on the way. Okay, right. Okay. Um, I have no further questions of this witness, Your Honor. I'll pass the witness. I got lots of questions. So y'all stand by. <clears throat> Miss Gal doesn't carry either your last name or the father's last name. I need you to tell me why you think that's Valentina's best interest for me to leave it that way. Well, me personally, uh, I I never liked my last name and I never liked his. So we, I had talked to him before I even named her. I had uh, told him that what does he think about this name, and he agreed. Okay. You know, said, that's, uh, that's actually kind of reasonable, Miss Galvan. Yep. Mr. Gilbert, let me ask you a question about the child's last name. Because here's the problem that I have with making any changes to the child's last name. When the child was born, you and the mother signed a statement that is now on file with the court where you both agreed that Valent and it's not Valentina, it's Valentine. Yes, that Valentine's right. last name would be Hernandez. Do you remember when you did that, when you signed the, the statement saying that it was okay for Valentine's last name to be Hernandez? No, sir. Uh, from what I recall, it was just, I guess, a last moment thing, and I really didn't have no say, so it was, it was already in the hospital. Well, I, I can't go into great detail because I wasn't there, Mr. Gilbert, but you obviously yes, had sir. some say so because you signed the statement saying that that was the child's last name. So yes, if you didn't agree that that child's last name should have been that, then you shouldn't have signed this statement saying that. Yes, sir. Okay. Yes, so sir. I have a hard time. I have a hard time changing the child's last name at this time, since you and the mother agreed that that would be the child's last name when the child was born. Yes, sir. All right. So let me ask another question. Ms. Galvan, you don't believe that Mr. That the child should carry Mr. Gilbert's last name anywhere? No, sir. Okay. A lot of hard feelings there, huh, Ms. Galvan? I mean, he has never done for my daughter, so he don't deserve that. <laughs> Mr. Gilbert, you admitted that a girlfriend that you had back in January of 2023 may have sent threats to Valentine through her mother. Is that correct? Yes, sir. They, 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 she did, too. I I didn't ask you about what Miss Galvan did. I asked you if your girlfriend made threats against an infant child in 2023, and you said yes, that she did. Is that yes. correct? Yes. Are you still with this woman? Yes, sir. I got some real problems there, Mr. Gilbert. You understand my concerns, right? Yes, sir. I understand. I don't necessarily know or believe or, or have any indication that your girlfriend would actually do any of those things, but just the mere fact that she made a threat against an infant child sort of sheds a new light on it, don't you think? Yes, sir. May have been done in anger. May have been done out of wrath and vengeance. Was... I'll get Miss Galvan what, what she said. But there is never any excuse, Mr. Gilbert, for threatening an infant child. They was both threatening their own children, sir. I, I wasn't even in the argument. I didn't have no yeah. case. And I, and I believe that. Ms. Galvan stated that you weren't part of it. Ms. Galvan, did you make threats against Mr. Gilbert's girlfriend's kids, too? No, she only got no. one. I never talked about her first child. 
Okay. You didn't make any threats against the girlfriend's kids? No, only the ones she aborted, yeah. Oh, okay. So you're just as guilty as the other person in regards to making threats against kids, right? Well, I don't you think want it was me to, fair because I didn't want me to, to take, kill them. You want me to take your threats against the girlfriend's kids with any uh, grain of salt? Just in something that no, would I never threat. I never threat to kill her kids. Well, I understand, but you but you did make threats. No, I just said. I don't know if I could say this, but she said. Uh, I didn't ask you what that, she, she said. That, you can't you okay. can't tell me what she said. She's not okay. here to defend herself. Okay. This just some big ugly comment, the big ugly Facebook fight between you and Mr. Gal Gilbert's uh, girlfriend. Miss Galvin. Well, she, no, she just uh, texted me three and my daughter. That's all. Okay. Did you say ugly stuff to, to Mr. Gilbert's girlfriend? Yes, I did. Okay. Sounds like a big Facebook fight to me. Back with Valentine. I Ms. never, Galvin. um, I never really said nothing. They mm -hmm. just, he just blocked me, so I don't have no contact with him at all. Okay. All right. It was right around this same time, Mr. Gilbert, that you stopped having contact with Valentine. No, no, sir. It was on and off blocking. It was on and off what? It was on and off blocking. Like, I, I don't, her. Mr. Gilbert, I don't care about blocking. Yeah, I, I understand. about whether or not you had contact with your daughter. Uh, No, sir. Not even before that. I tried. My family tried. We still okay. do try. Ma. So, Mr. Gilbert, let me ask you a really hard question. You ready? Yes, sir. Is it Valentine's Val fault? That you haven't had any contact with her? No, sir. There you go. Now we're starting to get some reasonable responses. So when I have to make a decision on the contact that you have with Valentine, surely you don't think that I should just give you a child that's not even two years old yet overnight that hadn't seen you in a year, right? You don't think that. Yes, sir. I understand that. I mean, you understand that you're going to have to get to know this two-year-old again before you just have unfettered access. Okay. So you're, you're open, Mr. Gilbert, to reasonable accommodations for visitation until you get to know Valentine again. Yes, sir. Because it's not her fault, right? No, sir. Whatever this breakout down in communication between you and Miss Galvin, I got to reestablish the, the visitation rights between you and Valentine. Yes, sir. Oh, see, that's what I like to hear reasonableness miss galvin do you have any uh, objection to a reasonable visitation schedule with mr uh, gilbert until he gets to know valentine again yeah i would like to just supervise well i i, I would i kind of assume that um <laughs> i don't think it's funny miss galvin i got a two-year-old yeah, daughter out there who doesn't have a father and it might be a good idea if we reacquaint themselves with each other so they can establish a relationship. Yes, he could have that relationship with his daughter. I do believe that you're right, Miss Galvin. I do believe that there certain, should be a certain amount of time period the visitation needs to be supervised so that Mr. Gilbert and Valentine can get to know each other again. Yes, sir. But I don't think it should be forever. How long do you think he should have supervised visits? Um, well, I don't know, because my daughter, um, she really is not good with people she don't know. I guess if she get used to him hmm. coming around a little bit more or more. So I if I said, uh, if I said Mr. Gilbert had to have X number of supervised visits before he could have supervised visits, unsupervised visits, how many supervised visits do you think Mr. Gilbert should have? A lot. Uh, um, I don't know if I mean, she never really know this person, okay. her father. Okay. So it would take a lot for her to get used to him. Uh, well, I don't agree with you. I don't agree with a lot because I have no idea how to put a factual number to that. A lot. I don't know what that means. And he's, um, what do you call it? Um, 
he's always been in and out. So if he will continue to do his his um, to come see her when like you know. Well, that's often, why it would be a, that's why it would be a, it. that's why it would be a specific number, Miss Galvan. I wouldn't just say he'd have supervised visits for four months, because then he he could just let the four months run out and skip it. Now I'd, I'd say you'd have to have a specific number of contact rights. But, but she is only two, right? Yes, sir. So she's still pretty young. Very young. Yes, sir. Okay. I can come up with a plan on that. Miss mm -hmm. mm -hmm. Galvan, do you live in Jefferson County? Yes, sir. Thank you, ma'am. Mr. Gilbert, do you live in Jefferson County? Yes, sir. The state have any other evidence they wish to submit? No, Your Honor. Miss Galvin, is there anything else you think I need to know about this case before I make a ruling? No, sir. Mr. Gilbert, is there anything else you think I need to know about this case before I make a ruling? No, sir. Okay. Well, this is what I'm going to do. The most of the primary part of this court order is going to be pretty standard. Not going to be a whole lot in it. Um, there is going to be some phased in visitation schedule. So Mr. Gilbert will have the opportunity to establish, reestablish his relationship with Valentine. The real question I have is going to be about the name and I'm not going to change it. I'm going to leave it where it was. The party signed what they signed on the acknowledgement of paternity two years ago when the baby was born. And I don't see any reason why I need to change the name. Um, the court's going to find the court's jurisdiction. The court's going to find that based on the testimony of the parties, it's certainly in Valentine's best interest to name the parties as joint managed conservators. There will be a domicile restriction in this case, as per the local rule, Mr. Schlett. That means, Ms. Galvan, that you must reside in Jefferson County or a county that touches Jefferson County as long as you are the primary caregiver for the child, Valentine. That doesn't mean that you can't move. What it means is if you intend to move, then you have to have send notice of that intent to move to Mr. Gilbert so that he can contest it if you're going to move a long way off. Now, if Mr. Gilbert doesn't give you permission to move with the child, then you always have the right to come back to court and petition the judge in this court to see if that judge will let you move. If you have a good reason for moving, a lot of times the judge will give you the opportunity to do that. If you don't have a good reason, then the judge is not going to allow you to move with the child. It doesn't mean you can't travel. It doesn't mean you can't move around and go do things and have fun and vacations. But it just means that the child must permanently reside in Jefferson County or a county that touches Jefferson County. Uh, I'm going to order Miss Galvan to maintain the current health insurance that she has on the child. And I'm going to order Mr. Gilbert to pay child support as per minimum wage presumption. $225 a month in child support, $25 a month in cash medical, both payments beginning April the 1st of 2024. Um, Mr. Gilbert will be responsible for court costs, but I will give him until September 30th of 2024 to pay the court cost. The phased in visitation schedule will be 10 visits at each phase, Mr. Schlepp. So that will be 10 visits supervised by Ms. Galvan or someone that she suggests and, and agrees with. Uh, followed by 10 unsupervised for four hours, followed by 10 unsupervised for the day, followed by 10 one-night overnight visits. Now, those visitations will take place on the first, third, and fifth Saturday of every month. Um, so if Mr. Gilbert does all of the visitations the way I've suggested, that means he will have five months of supervised visits, followed by five months of unsupervised visits for four hours for each, each phase. Um, once those first two phases are completed, then he can move to day visits. But again, this will give Miss um, Galvan and more importantly, Valentine, the opportunity to get to know Mr. Gilbert again over several months before he just has weekend visits and unsupervised contact with the child um, for standard possession. 
Does that answer all the issues before me today, Mr. Slett? Yes, it does, Your Honor. Thank you. Mr. Gilbert has also voluntarily agreed to enter into the Choices Program. Is that correct, Mr. Gilbert? Yes, sir. All right. At the end of this hearing, I'm going to leave Mr. Gilbert in the courtroom so that he can talk to the Choices representative. But now, Mr. Schlett, however, is going to send me a court order. If it matches what I said here today, I'm going to sign it and I'm going to get it back to them. And they're going to make a copy of it and send it to each of you. Now, neither party has to be satisfied with my ruling today. If either party is dissatisfied, you have three days with which to file a written notice of appeal with the district clerk's office in Jefferson County. If you wish to take advantage of that right to file your appeal, you are required to make sure that you send a copy of that written appeal to all the other non-appealing parties. All right. Uh, Ms. Galvan, Mr. Gilbert, I appreciate you both being here today. Ms. Galvan, you're...